The people that I've been introduced to, from Sarah to Karen next door, the person that handles your organizational things around here. Our operations here. manager, yeah. The people in the markets, to the financing people, property managers, and your local real estate experts, they've been just more than helpful. I mean, seriously. And that's why I'm back for more. I'll be buying more properties this month. And as you point out, it's a little bit of, of work up front, really. Yeah. The work's up front. And later on, as with my other properties, it's really not too bad. And the returns are just outstanding. The downside, it's not that significant. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I think it's a, just a wonderful program. You're doing a great service for people. So Good. I would just like to add that. Welcome to the Creating Wealth Show with Jason Hartman. You're about to learn a new slant on investing, some exciting techniques, and fresh new approaches to the world's most historically proven asset class that will enable you to create more wealth and freedom than you ever thought possible. Jason is a genuine, self-made multimillionaire who's actually been there and done it. He's a successful investor, lender, developer, and entrepreneur who's owned properties in 11 states, had hundreds of tenants and been involved in thousands of real estate transactions. This program will help you follow in Jason's footsteps on the road to your financial independence day. You really can do it. And now, here's your host, Jason Hartman, with the complete solution for real estate investors. Welcome to episode 1335, and to our American listeners, happy Thanksgiving. And to all of you in 188 other countries around the world, thanks for joining us today. We're not going to talk much about business today because it is a day off. It is a day to be thankful, a day to be grateful, and a day to uh, focus on what we have, not what we don't have. Hey, human nature is all about discontent. And that's okay as long as it is constructive discontent, right? Constructive discontent. Well, hey, I hope you're grateful and thankful on this day for what we talked about yesterday. (laughs) Real estate investors, you should be very thankful that uh, Fannie Mae has, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac has increased the loan limit for conforming loans to the base amount of $510,000, like we talked about yesterday. But in the more expensive markets, up to 150% of that base value. Okay, that's it for business today. That's all I'm going to talk about about business. Other than that, I just want to say that I am thankful for the opportunity to be your guide in uh, helping you create wealth and have a better future To all of you who've been following my work for the past 15 years, or maybe even before that, even though I wasn't doing the same work before that, I was helping people broker real estate, and many of them were investors, but uh, also homeowners, home sellers, home buyers, uh, in the traditional side of the real estate business that I was in for many years before this. And I know many of you became investor clients, and uh, I am very thankful for all of your business and thankful to all of you for allowing me to have the career that I just kind of created out of the blue 15 years ago when I realized as I was trying to be a nationwide investor that it was really difficult to do this by myself. So I got into this business and uh, created my first company in this business to basically be my own first customer. I was the first customer of the business. And I guess that's similar to a lot of entrepreneur stories where they see frustration, they see a difficulty, they see pain, and out of that pain comes a new idea, a new inspiration, a new business that could help a lot of other people. And I know we have uh, helped a lot of other people over the years. In fact, you know, thousands of transactions now, I don't know exactly how many, but in my entire real estate career, I know that I'm approaching between myself, my personal transactions in real estate uh, and brokering properties for clients and doing my own deals and helping people buy and sell properties and uh, invest and build their portfolios nationwide, I know that I'm approaching 10,000 real estate transactions. 10,000. Wow. (laughs) I can't say I ever thought I'd see the day. 10,000 transactions. And I'm not there yet, and I don't know the exact number, 
But I just did the math and I kind of went through and estimated the number of transactions I did each year for all the years I've been in this business. And hey, it's close to 10,000. I, I, again, I, I wish I knew the exact number, but you know, software changes over the years and I did not keep a diary of that anywhere. So <laughs> you'll just have to go with my estimate, but it's close to 10,000. So uh, I'm very thankful to all of you who have allowed me to have this career, who have trusted me and my team as your guide to help you build wealth. And I know many of you have retired because of the work we're doing. So that is, that is just awesome. It is just totally awesome. So anyway, it is Thanksgiving Day, and even if you live in one of the 188 countries listening that doesn't celebrate Thanksgiving, you know, it's just good to focus at least once a year, hopefully every day, and hopefully the uh, Fearless Soul soundtrack I'm about to play for you, which is just over, slightly over five minutes long, it's very short, will uh, help us, uh, I know it certainly helped me, but help all of us focus on a daily basis on all the great things we have to be thankful for. And here are five of them. We will be back with our regularly scheduled programming, as the old saying goes, tomorrow, and then uh, resuming, of course, on Monday. And uh, we're coming at you with five episodes per week. Oh, one more thing I, I keep forgetting to mention. Remember the guided visualizations that many of you really have given us very positive feedback about. We moved that off of this feed. It's got its own feed. So on iTunes or whatever podcast platform you're using around the world, just look up Jason Hartman guided visualizations. Those are continuing. We're we're publishing those. So uh, they are still out there for you. We uh, decided to take them out of this podcast feed and put them on their own feed because they're kind of meditative and they really require you to be relaxing and not at the gym or driving or whatever, right? So they didn't fit in with our regular stuff. So those are on their own feed, the guided visualizations, take advantage of those, subscribe to that as well, because um, that's for a different purpose, but very, very powerful to be visualizing your future in a a multi-dimensional way, and it will help you become a much more successful real estate investor. So again, thank you to all of you listening uh, from around the world, 189 countries around the world. We appreciate you, and we appreciate you spreading the word for our work, both myself and our entire team. Thank you so much. And uh, here are five things you should be grateful for today a great little soundtrack from the Fearless Soul YouTube channel. Everyone needs gratitude in their life, including and especially those who say they have nothing to be grateful for. Gratitude is an emotion that never does harm, but always does so much good. When you can appreciate all the things you do have, you not only feel better right away, which is the ultimate goal anyway, but you open up a space to attract so much more to be grateful for. Commit to give gratitude a try for 30 days. I promise it will change your life forever. Start with these five things to be grateful for today. Number one, you are alive. Let's start at the bottom with something we all take for granted. The biggest thing we usually take for granted is our life. Our life and the lives of those we love. We all see examples of lives that end suddenly and far too soon. But most of us still take our own life for granted, as if it could never happen to us or our loved ones. No one has any guarantee of next year, next month, or even tomorrow. Be thankful for the life and time you do have, especially for those you love. Number two, your health. If you're like most people, your first thought when you're unwell is, I just want to feel better. But when we are better, most of us still fill our bodies with food and substances we shouldn't and feed our mind with negativity and stress, which is not needed and causes disease in our body. Be grateful that you have your health. If you have an illness or disease, be grateful for the parts of your body that are healthy. 
those positive vibes will spread and at the very least will make you feel better. If you're really spreading positive vibes and gratitude for your health, chances are you can replace your prescription drugs with positive thoughts and gratitude in a very short space of time. Number three, opportunity. We live in an age abundant with opportunity. Never has there been a time in human history with more options to create your own income, do things you love in your own way, in your own time, and get paid for it. The earning potential today is virtually limitless. And unlike many years ago, you don't need a fancy education to achieve it. All you need is a will to learn and a great belief in yourself. Be grateful for the abundance of opportunities and trust your intuition on which path you should take. It might not happen right away, and you may fail many times before you reach success. But you can always be grateful, for there is always opportunity to start again. And this time, with much more wisdom. Number four, the people in your life. This doesn't mean you have to feel love for all family members and friends at all times. You might feel grateful for some family members who have taught you valuable life lessons, like exactly how you don't want to be. You might be grateful for some who have given you pain, for they made you stronger. But most importantly, be grateful for the family and friends you love the most. Those that will always stand by your side no matter what. If you're not blessed to have this in your life right now, be grateful that you're on a path to becoming a person that will attract those people in your life in the near future. Be grateful you can be that person for someone else because you were shown the opposite. Number five, be grateful for the hard times. The hard times are our greatest teachers and where we grow our strength and character the most. It's certainly not easy feeling appreciative of challenging times, especially when you're in the middle of one. But if you can recall some difficult moments from your past, I'm sure you'll find that most often, those difficult times led to something better in your life. Life is not always easy, and that is exactly how it was meant to be. It would be a pretty boring existence if everything went exactly to plan every time. Be grateful for the challenges, the pain and struggle, for it made you who you are today. And you are perfect, exactly as you are. Thank you so much for listening. Please be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any episodes. Be sure to check out the show's specific website and our general website, HartmanMedia.com, for appropriate disclaimers and terms of service. Remember that guest opinions are their own. And if you require specific legal or tax advice or advice in any other specialized area, please consult an appropriate professional. And we also very much appreciate you reviewing the show. Please go to iTunes or Stitcher Radio or whatever platform you're using and write a review for the show. We would very much appreciate that. And be sure to make it official and subscribe so you do not miss any episodes. We look forward to seeing you on the next episode.